Now, I don't know if this is just a Utah thing or if it's an everywhere thing, but growing up, my mom used cream of chicken soup for everything, okay? So every casserole, every meal, every pasta dish, every lunch and dinner, there was either cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup mixed in there some way. And that's how I kind of learned how to cook. It's just, you know, what... What, what do I want for dinner and throw a can of cream of something soup in there, right? And um, then I started realizing that I had a horrible reaction to MSG. Every time I ate MSG, I'd get a really bad headache. I'd get puffy. I'd puff up like a blowfish. I would just get kind of hungover, so I couldn't wake up in the morning. And uh, my brain didn't work as well. And so I, I, I finally traced it back to being an MSG problem. So I started reading lots of labels and figuring out what had MSG in it and how to replace it with other stuff. And because 90% of my recipes at that time had cream of something soup in it, I had to figure out an alternative. Now, I just want to show you guys a little bit, a little bit about reading labels. Um, I don't know. Nope, you can't see that. Okay. On the label, there's two parts. There's the part where it shows you, like, fat and salt, and sodium and cholesterol and all that. Usually, if people are trying to figure out if a food is healthy for them or not, they look at that and they're like, oh, look at that. No fat, healthy. No sodium, healthy. Okay. What you don't realize is if they take out the fat or if they take out the sodium, they have to put in something else to still make it taste good. So, usually, that's chemicals or sugar or salt. They have to replace it with something. So, if you're just looking at this, that does not tell you anything. This is marketing scandal right here is what this little white box is. So when you're reading labels on cans, skip that all together. Don't read it. What you want to look at is the ingredient list right below it. That's the important part of the can, okay? Now this, uh, this cream of chicken soup, it looks like on the outside 98% fat free. Woo woo, right? Healthy. And uh, it says for little bit, no, almost no fat, no trans, zero trans fats, um, uh, not very much sodium. So it makes it look like it's a healthy thing, right? But if you go to the ingredient list, um, it's made out of chicken stock, white flour, um, cream, salt, modified cornstarch, chicken fat, monosodium glutamate is like the fifth ingredient on the recipe. Um, so there's actually more MSG in here than sugar. That's a lot of MSG, okay? Um, chicken skin, natural flavor, and then lots of chemicals I can't, it, I, can't um, <laughs> I can't pronounce. Canola oil, soybean oil. So this, like, everything in here pretty much is on the list of stuff you need to stay away from that you don't want to eat for your health. There's not really one healthy thing in here. Um, so what we want to do is replace this with something that's nutrient-dense, that has lots of nutrition and is made from whole foods. There's no whole foods in here, there's no nutrition in here, nothing. And plus lots of MSG and sugar. So what I use for, the, uh, but however, this is handy, right? It's handy to open up a can, dump it in a casserole and make something. So we want something that's equally handy, equally tasty, but way more nutritious and without putting all that other garbage in there. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, white beans. They're cooked. You can do this using white bean flour as well. I've used it where you grind up the white beans into flour and then you put it in water. What I found is that that way of making it makes it taste kind of bitter and very beany and it gives you a lot of gas. So instead of that, I use cooked beans and also in the recipe book it tells you how to cook beans because you need to soak beans as well before you eat them. That gets rid of the gassy factor and it also improves the nutrition and the digestibility of the beans. So all the instructions how to do that is in the cookbook. Um, so white beans, they're um, really mild flavor, they're white color, so that's going to work for us. And. They're very nutrient dense. Um, beans, if they've been prepared properly by soaking them and cooking them at a low temperature, they are one of the top five cancer fighting foods and disease fighting foods out there. Um, also, if you're trying to be vegan or vegetarian, which uh, the research is showing us that if you eat more than 10% of your daily calories with animal products, that counts dairy, eggs, meats, fish, anything, Anything above 10% drastically increases your risk of disease. 
um, cancer, diabetes, all the chronic illnesses. If you keep it below 10%, then it doesn't really seem to make a difference according to the research. So when you're trying to cut out animal products out of your diet, you need something to fill you up and something that's hearty. Beans are the way to go. They, they're they full of nutrition and they're hearty. They fill you up and um, they don't leave you starving at the end of the day. Um, Campbell's does not have garlic in there, and but I'm putting garlic in mine because remember how I talked about the flavor enhancers, the herbs and the spices, um, onions and garlic also enhance the flavor so that it tastes better. And here's some nutritional yeast. I was talking about that before. See, it's just uh, little yellow flakes. That's going to give it kind of the cheesy, milky flavor of the, of the mushroom soup. And then we've got some vegetable broth. Um, most vegetable broths, any kind of bouillon or vegetable broth, 99.9% .9 of them have MSG, lots of artificial crap in it, um, and you don't want that. So this, you can come look at this brand when I'm done, but this is the one brand that I found that it's just made with uh, nutritional yeast and spices and it doesn't have any MSG or artificial colors or flavorings or anything like that in it. So this is the brand I recommend. Um, I haven't really found another brand that works, that, that is as clean as this as far as what's in the ingredients. So I'm just going to put like two and a half tablespoons of that in there. This makes a really good soup base too. I can't say it, that's why I said come look at this. Um, S-E-I-T-E-N-B-A-C-H-E-R, Satan Bacher, I think is how you say that. So if you want to come look at that afterwards, you can. And I got that at Good Earth. They used to carry it, but um, I don't think it's on the shelf anymore. But when I, I just, you go up to the customer service desk and tell them you want it, and they'll order it for you if they don't have it in the store. All right, play. Now, if you want, yeah, at Harmon's. Awesome, it's at Harmon's, thank you. Okay, so if you just want, if you use this all the time, what I do is I make this and then I put it in little pint jars, the two cup jars with the lids on them and I stick it in the fridge and it, it keeps pretty well for like a week in the fridge. So if you know you're gonna be doing a recipe with this in it, you can make it ahead of time and just put it in the pint jars and it's just like opening up a can of soup, okay? So you can do that ahead of time or if you, you know, if you notice it doesn't take that long to just throw it in here and make it real quick. Now this makes for a really thick sauce and uh, if you want to thin it down, all you have to do is just pour in a little bit of water and it'll make the consistency a little bit thinner. Now right now it's a little bit chunky. Uh, I'm not going to keep it going because you guys don't want to sit here and watch it blend. <laughs> Whoops, maybe you do. Um, so uh, probably three to five minutes you want to leave this blending and it'll make it super smooth. Okay. 